Hi, you're watching Ask the Techies. I'm Dee Lee Beard, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to customize your Mac. Not a custom paint job or anything like that, but more like the insides. You ever wanted to change your splash screen, wanted to change the size of the text underneath your icons on your desktop, things like that? I'm going to show you ways that all the options that are in there that you may not have been aware of, okay? Two key places to go to. First one you want to go to is up under the finder, there is a preferences. Now that's Finder Preferences, okay? Make sure it's the Finder menu and not the Apple menu because that System Preferences is something completely different. But under Finder Preferences, you're given some options. And in here, one of the first ones is General, and it shows you what things do you want to show on the desktop. Sometimes, by default, connected servers do not show up on the desktop. So if you frequently connect to some, you know, WebDAV uh, server somewhere, uh, connect to some server on uh, at your business or, or university um, or to another computer um, in your household. You may want to turn on the connected servers so that they'll show up on the desktop just like these other drives, internal drives show up. Now if you don't want to see them you can also turn those off. But if, if you don't see your CD when you pop it in then you may want to make sure that, that these things are checked. And I prefer to have all those things checked myself. You can also determine when you open a new Finder window. That is when I come over here and I click on the Finder happy, smiley, blue face guy. <laughs> He'll uh, open a new window and it opens by default my home directory. Okay? But I could say I want, the, I want it to open up instead something different. And that's where I say I want it to open up my documents or my desktop or a certain hard drive that, or something other special folder that I've got. So that's where you can choose what the default will be when it opens up. Home directory makes sense for most people and I like that. You can also choose to open, always open folders in a new window. Let me show you. Normally, you know, like when I click on documents, it opens it up in this window. But what if I wanted it to open in a second window? If you check that box and open documents, it opens a second window for me, making it easy to drag stuff back and forth if I wanted to. Now, I'll give you a keyboard shortcut on this. If you hold down the command key, or formerly known as the Apple key, you can uh, double click on holding down the command key and double click documents. It'll open that one in a separate window. So if you only need it to open in a separate window occasionally, just hold down the command key and it will allow it to open it up in a totally new window for you that you can then maneuver these around, put them side by side, drag stuff between or compare files, that sort of thing. So there's a little tip for you there. There's also a thing called spring-loaded folders. Now I don't know if you know what this is, but spring-loaded folders are when I want to move a file I can click on this and I can relax. It, it springs open for me, so I'm just resting it on there. Take it off to the side now. So basically, I just take this, I rest it over top for a second, it pops up. I can go into rest there, rest there, and there we go. So that's how you can move stuff, to quickly move it to a different location by just by a thing called spring loaded folders. And you can adjust how long the delay is. So if you want it to, to go really quick, you can go to short, and that way it'll spring really fast. Bing, 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 there you go. But I'm not actually going to move that file. And if I want to make it longer so I don't have accidental bringing open as I'm just trying to move stuff around, I can make it really long. But the medium is usually pretty good for most people. So there's a couple settings. Labels. Now you've seen the labels. The great thing about labels is on your icons, if this is something really important for me, I can right click on this and I can label it. So I can start to color code things a little bit and I can say, um, I want to color this one red because it's a really hot topic. Oops, I don't think I got that one. Red. There we go. And now around the text, you're going to see the uh, file name highlighted in red. And this can be at a good at a glance for you to be able to organize certain files. So you can change things, the things that are really hot or your, or your, your best uh, B-roll footage, that sort of thing. You can color code green. The red ones are kind of bad ones, or my red ones are all SD footage. My yellow ones are all high definition footage. And, and you can choose to say, I want red to be something special. I can say, I want to make red my SD footage because it's not very good. And I want to make my green my HD footage. And I'm going to make my yellow my 720 HD. So it's not true HD, but it's close. And then I can come over here and when I right click and I go to label it, you can see underneath it's labeling. You can see the, what each one is. So if you're not sure what it is, that's a way to label it. Okay? So maybe a way for you to customize that a little bit. Now the sidebar. Okay, let me show you real quick. Let me open a hard drive here, a window. 
and this is your sidebar. And this tells you what devices that you want to see over there in there. So you have your hard disks, external disk, iDisk. I don't have an iDisk. I don't have a .Mac account. So I'm going to uncheck that one because it's really just taking up space over here for something I don't even need. So I check that, or rather uncheck it. Bing! It's gone over here. Yay! I just cleared up some space over here so I don't have to scroll through so much. Um, I can also, uh, under shared, <coughs> There's a lot of things in here, and I can adjust those. I can, of course, close that off altogether, but I can also turn off these shared things. Bolzer com computers, connected servers. I usually recommend seeing those, so if you do need to access another computer on the network, that can be helpful to you. But if you aren't on a network, you can uncheck those. Uh, places. And these are some default ones. If you don't find you ever really want certain ones over there, then you can uncheck those. I find all those helpful. In fact, if you ever want to add additional ones, it's really simple just to drag something over, and there it is. Right now I added it. And you want to take it off, you just drag it off, a little puff of smoke, poof, it's gone. Want to add a different one, uh, like the Techies logo, there we go. Because I always access that file a lot, boom, there we go. In fact, you can even add up here to the top. There's the Techies logo at the top. That's another thing that's customiz customizable for, by you. You want to take it off, and taking it off a little harder, you may have to right click, ah, uh, this thing doesn't want to work quite right. Oops. And if you want to take it off, just go to Customize Toolbar. Get a little ahead of myself here, though. Um, but then you can drag things off of there. I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, and then also the search for. So you, this is something you worked on r recently, and rather than trying to dig through your documents folder to try to find the file that you worked on, I don't know if I saved it in the documents folder, or whether I saved it to that special folder for this project, or whether I, you know, I don't know where I put it. So you can actually just go right here handy and look for search for and say, this is stuff I worked on today. And those are all the files, all the things that I worked on today, including the applications, files that I opened up yesterday, past week, I can go in here and say all images that are on my hard drive, and it automatically has an index of all the images on there, ones I created or ones that came with uh, certain programs like even Microsoft Office. All my movies, boom, there you go. And this is a smart folder, and that's what that's called, and it automatically adds things in there for you. All right? So that's how you can adjust that a little bit. Under Advanced, Show All File Name Extensions. I suggest that to make sure you can always see the extension. I don't really want those ever hidden, so I usually turn that on because I want to always see the file extension so I know what type of file it actually is. Um, empty trash securely. You know when you go to empty trash, it um, it warns you empty trash and it'll get, pop up that little air box. Are you sure you want to empty trash? Well, here's where you can turn off the show warning before emptying trash. If you find that's really annoying, when it, let me show it. Let me go ahead and say empty trash. <gasps> Are you sure you want to permanently erase the items on the trash? Yes, I am sure I want to do it, do it and click empty trash. But if you find you accidentally start to empty trash a lot, you might want to make sure that warning keeps you from actually emptying before you're ready. But empty trash securely, when it empties, it's going to actually write zeros and ones over your data. So it's truly gone and you can't recover it. So it gives you a greater sense of security. If someone was to steal your laptop, they wouldn't be able to access the files that you had deleted. Um, but so that's up to you if you really want to empty the trash securely. I turn it off. I find it doesn't do you a whole lot of good on emptying the trash securely. Um, someone gets hold of your computer. The, the stuff you really care about isn't the stuff that was in the trash. It's the stuff that's still left on your hard drive. But that can be a way for you. Um, when performing a search, like if you come up here and you start to type in a thing, I want to try to find uh, Final Cut. There we go. It shows me all things like Final Cut Pro. You can say search the current folder by default or search the Mac. Now you can easily change that because here's the folder. I can choose a certain folder or I can choose the whole Mac. So it's up to you. It's not really a big deal to change that.